riding the Kingsdown S20 for the solid few weeks, I'm starting to think that this wheel may actually be faster than even the mighty veteran Sherman. Would be fun if we actually put it to the test. This week, the king of speed, the veteran Sherman versus the king of suspension, the Kingsdown S20. Are you ready to see the clash of titans? Road and roll! Like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and we'll be BFF forever! First shout out to Jason at E-Wheel for letting me borrow this demo Kingsdown S20 for review purposes and also to my friend Afiz at E-Rides who's not only an awesome friend but also a fellow diehard EUC evangelist and on top of that he runs an awesome EUC shop in the UK and EU region so if you are looking for a wheel check out his shop and you can find my affiliate link in the comment section below Suspension electric unicycle have come a long way since their first introduction two years ago. Not only that, but in my performance test of this wheel, I was shocked at how close it felt like it has gotten to the top speed wheel from Galway and of course Veteran. And I imagine I'm not the only one who's curious to find out how the S20 actually stack up to a traditional high performance wheel like the Sherman and that is precisely what we're gonna do this week. In the Challengers corner we have the Kingston S20, the very first 126 volt wheel with a 45 miles per hour top speed, a 3300 watt motor and a 2200 watt hour battery pack and a 20 inch wheel weighting in at 75 pounds. In the corner, the reigning speed king of EUC, the veteran Sherman, the 100 volt wheel with a 50 miles per hour top speed, a 2500 watt motor, a 2800 watt hour battery pack, and a 20 inch wheel weighting in at a close 77 pounds. And to set a few ground rules, this fight is going to be based on my standard five criteria for reviewing a wheel. And that, of course, would be convenience, design, performance, ride qualities, and value. A winner will be declared for each round and at the end of the five rounds whoever win the most number of rounds will be declared the overall winner and we'll kick things off with convenience Both wheels weighed in at about the same and both come with front and back handles but neither are fun to lift or carry upstairs. But like most other electric unicycle, you would primarily be rolling them around by using the trolley handle and the handle on the Sherman is center mounted and so better balanced and they also extend a little bit further. Where in the S20 has a heavy weight bias towards the front of the wheel to keep proper balance needed to be pushed in reverse. Both come with a top display with the Sherman showing more info but the S20 more legible. The S20 comes with brighter headlights, better stock pedal and see in the box without having to pay extra for it. But the Sherman on the other hand has these protective bars which make mounting accessory a little bit easier and also help protect the wheel in the event of a crash. For these two wheels and although their strengths vary, from a day-to-day -day convenience perspective they actually feel about equal based on my personal experience and I don't feel that either wheel edge out the other in a significant way so I'm going to declare a draw for convenience but when it comes to design it's a much more one-sided victory for the King Song S20 Although both wheels are innovative in their own right, the Sherman with its compact, well-balancing utilitarian shell and the S20 showcasing the new modular approach, there are simply no denying the striking good look of the S20. This is a wheel that turns heads wherever you go. So all of that is nothing more than window dressing as far as any true Sherman fan is concerned because after all people don't buy veteran Sherman because it's somehow better looking than the other wheels Hardcore EUC rider choose the Sherman because it's able to do this
weight, the balance, the low center of gravity, and even the battery size and firmware all in concert create an extraordinary riding experience that no other electric unicycle have been able to match, not even close. And part of that unique is precisely because it is unencumbered by the weight and complexity of a suspension system. They allow your feet to firmly connect with the road via the pedal hanger, a solid axle, and that magnificent 2500 watt motor. For many, it was unfathomable that a suspension wheel could ever approach the kind of raw, powerful ride feel offered by the Sherman, and honestly, I would have agreed all the way till the day when I got to ride the Kingston S20. So to all those people who said that the Kingston S20 is an anemic, slow wheel that has very little torque that could barely hit 35 miles an hour, this is my response. I am no engineer, but my guess is that the King Sun was able to achieve this by a combination of substantially stiffened structural framing and a much more robust suspension pivot and piston. The result is that same sense of connectiveness with the motor and road despite the suspension linkage. We're in the suspension for both the S18 as well as the V11 felt like their primary feature, something that you notice right away as soon as you step foot on either the one of those wheels that continues to make their presence known via bounciness even after you have fully acclimated to their ride characteristic. The suspension on the S20 excel because of how unnoticeable it is. Dampening instead of bounce and solidity versus floatiness and maintaining that connection let you savor that incredible 126 volt power 3300 motor the largest ever led to an electric unicycle and after riding both wheels i have to say that sense of limitless power is present with both <laughs> that exhibit a similar level of exhilaration and fun from a ride fuel perspective. I can't really say that one is more fun to ride than the other. So unfortunately, I have to declare yet another draw, which finally bring us to the question of performance. We already know that the Sherman is 5 miles per hour faster and have a significant edge on range because of its larger battery pack, but in a flat out race or just regular daily rides, neither are as big of a factor as raw acceleration, especially for electric unicycle where how quickly you can go also dictate how quickly you can stop. And so it comes down to this, a raw balls to the wall acceleration test, I'm going to do as many 10 to 40 blitz as I can fit between live traffic because why not?
like any veteran of Gatway wheels, the S20 has a good bit of flex or springiness with its torque response. You can dip the wheel by whipping it and I have learned to use the same motion to better to maximize acceleration. The Sherman by comparison is stiff and has a nearly straight and very predictable acceleration curve from 10 miles per hour all the way up to its maximum speed with little drama. And it does beep at around 45 miles an hour and since I'm not quite feeling like gambling with fate, that is where I tapped out. It does feel like it has a slight edge below 20 miles per hour, but above it, both wheels rush right up to the 40s, no question asked. Off the line, the Sherman would likely win in a drag race, but the margin is small enough that it will likely be little differences to anyone outside of extremely limited circumstances. on the top end that the lack of suspension seriously hampered the Sherman since I was never able to trust the surfaces sufficiently to open it up fully. Wherein the S20 can be leaned on to power through even the worst of the road surprises, so when it comes to a real world street race, my money will be on the S20. And that is why I'm gonna give the performance crown to the S20 simply because it will likely be faster in more places as compared to the Sherman, period. about value. Both wheels are about even when it comes to price, just north of the $3,000 mark, with the upgraded Sherman Max costing another $300 on top, but you do get 700 watt hour more of battery packs in a slightly larger motor. And the biggest decision point I think would be range. If you need to travel more than 30 miles without charging, then the Sherman is your only choice. However, if like me, your primary concern is to maximize the fun factor within those 30 miles, then I would heavily <laughs> weigh my buy decision towards the King Sound S20. But to be fair, we'll call it another split decision for Valley. And that brings this contest to an end with the S20 coming out on top. Not what you expected, I bet. And yes, as many have already pointed out, this isn't the perfect wheel. And there are lots of little things like the weak plastics or even questionable suspension linkage. But in the end, I mean, just look at this thing go! What do you think?
think? Am I crazy to call it in favor of the S20? Well, that is what the comment section below is are for. And you know what? Aha! I somehow managed to trick you into wasting another 15 minutes of your life, but I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to my supporter on Patreon. Please check out the link in the video description below if you enjoy and like to support my work. And as always, as much as we all love electric unicycle, the only way for us to get better wheel is to grow as a community. So tell your friend and teach him how to ride and get them hooked. Until the next video, thank you.